Once upon a time, there lived a poor fisherman and his wife in a small, run-down hut by the sea. Every day, the fisherman went out to fish, hoping to catch enough to feed them. One day, he caught a large fish that spoke to him, saying it was an enchanted prince. The fish begged the fisherman to let it go, and out of kindness, the fisherman agreed. When the fisherman returned home and told his wife about the magical fish, she was unhappy with his decision to let it go without asking for anything in return. She insisted that he go back and ask the fish for a better house. Reluctantly, the fisherman returned to the sea and called out to the fish. The fish appeared and granted the wish, providing them with a nice cottage instead of their old hut. The fisherman's wife was pleased at first, but soon became greedy. She demanded more and more, asking the fisherman to request a palace next. The obedient fisherman to request a palace next. The obedient fisherman went back to the sea, and the fish granted this wish too. They now lived in a grand palace. However, the wife was still not satisfied. She wanted to be king, then emperor, and even pope. Each time the fisherman, although uneasy, went back to the fish and made the whip. The fish granted every request, making her king, emperor, and pope in turn. Finally, the wife's greed reached its peak. She demanded to be made like God, to control the sun and the moon. The fisherman, afraid and unhappy, went back to the sea and relayed her latest wish to the fish. This time, the fish sighed deeply and said, Go home. She is back in her old hut. When the fisherman returned, he found his wife sitting in their original small run-down hut, just as it was before any of the wishes were made. All the wealth and power they had gained were gone, and they were left with nothing but their humble life. The story of the fisherman and his wife teaches an important lesson about greed. The wife's endless desires led them from a happy, comfortable life back to their poor beginnings. It's a reminder that contentment and gratitude for what we have are far more valuable than constantly seeking more.